everybody. Welcome to another day. Welcome to Mercia. I am loading citrus today. I've not been to this place before, but I know it's along here. Just down this, yep, there it is, down there. Let's have a look. Now I used to load pizzas at a factory at the back and I parked there last night because I had an idea that this was close so there is a lady there called Natalia who does watch my videos so hi Natalia sorry I couldn't call in I was just sleeping and then I had to get loaded but I hope you're well it did look like there was a, a parking area on Google Maps it looked like there was a parking area down here but I didn't risk it because I knew that there was the other parking area close and looking at it, looking at this, it looks like it's been flooded, look. See how somebody's gone up that, um, up onto the mud there? Don't fancy getting stuck there at all. But at least um, the bays are here. So let's uh, let's turn it round and see if we can get onto a bay. Oh, that's the parking area that I thought was there. All right, I'm glad I didn't come down actually, look at the mud. No, don't fancy that idea. Don't fancy that at all. seem quite nice people. I'm only collecting four pallets here and it was already four pallets of lemons. So that's going to be a result and he's on the ball, this guy. Thank you. 
looks like they do packing for supermarkets here as well. All this is supermarket stuff. So I've pulled forward. Can you see that there? You see that? That drain sticking up. So like I said, I, I, I secured everything. I've pulled forward, shut the doors. But I'm just when I pull out of here, I need to make sure I'm not on that drain because that drain could easily take your tyre out. You see how big that, how much that's sticking up, look? See that corner? That could easily take your tyre out, especially if you were loading a full load from here and heavy. Let's just, uh, let's just wiggle around it a bit. Luckily, there's enough, there's only me here, so there's enough room to just jiggle it a bit and get out. There we are, there we are. I just missed it with all the tyres. I just, um, I know it's not my lorry, but at the same time, you know, you don't want to spend money if you don't have to. this area around here, big citrus area, um, oranges, lemons, citrus as in the whole fruit and also they do an awful lot of fruit juice down here. As this is part of the parched south as they call it, you can see the man-made irrigation systems for the farmlands. Now along here, both sides, they're all juicing factories. I've loaded out of most of these places along here at some point. They're up there, do the big, big barrels of fruit juice that comes in. Some of it's frozen, some of it's fresh, some of it needs chilled, some of it doesn't, but these are all big fruit juicing factories on the sides. is up towards Valencia. I've not done it before but we'll find it. it. The road comes up on Google Maps but I think it's in a little town so we shall find it when we get there. see hundreds and hundreds of orange trees, lemon trees, all around you.
Now this street I want is the one down here on the left hand side. It's a bit narrow but I don't know if you can tell but when you look at the floor a bit of experience to tell you you can see the scuff marks of other lorries as they've gone round it. I'll just stop and have a quick look up. Oh there's one come in. There's one come in with it in. Oh it's alright he stopped. But it's one of those things you can tell um if other lorries have been up there because of the scuff marks where they've gone round. Thank you very much, thank you very much. So that's the man doing the delivery to the factory. Thank you very much, very kind, thank you, thank you. The thing is with these pack houses is a lot of these towns thrive off the pack houses. They either are farmers or they work in the pack houses or they do paperwork for the pack houses or they do transport for the pack houses so although you are in a small town without these pack houses the farmers will just not be able to get their stuff out which means that the town wouldn't survive and so as you can see a, a lot of them they do open up like this I mean this looking at it I've never been in before but looking at it it's it's quite a big place so if you can imagine the amount of people that these places employ and if not directly, indirectly, because it's coming to the local town, all the, um, the infrastructure is being geared to make sure that these places can survive. It is actually a big place. So I'll park over here and go and see them in the office. It's huge. On a bay. So we've had a wait of a couple of hours. Guy in the office said, sorry, but it's not ready. Um, and then he came out and said, jump on a bay now. So we'll get, hopefully get it done. We've only got four pallets here as well. So um, four pallets of mandarins this is. you see that red light that the truck is coming out? See that? That red light is don't get closer than the red light. It doesn't, it doesn't stop the truck but the idea is if you're in the inside that red light then you're in the danger area. Yay last one. Cooking on gas. Bars up, let's go. Now the last one we're going to is a place that I've been to many times and the quickest way to get through it is the cross country. It is nice across here, just um, I'll let you take in the scenery as we go. Again, this is all a fruit area and all these towns, although you might be thinking, oh, why are big lorries going through these towns? all these towns revolve around the agriculture that is here so without the big lorries their product their whatever it is oranges lemons broccoli lettuces isn't going to get to market minutes earlier.
cyclists. Let's just try not to run the cyclists over. Just take it steady. Quite a busy little town this. I've been to this place many times and it's just a bit of a pain. You wouldn't think it was down here actually, it's just down what looks like a dirt track. Now where it is, is down here on the left on this little industrial estate but because I'm right hand drive I have to I'm not going in the wrong way I'm just going in the opposite way to what everybody else would go in there is no it's not a one-way system or anything like that it's, normally they would turn right there because the place is down there on the left hand side but because we're on the right hand we're right hand drive I go around the buildings the other way See now he's loaded and he's come around that way where I, I, I need to go in the other way otherwise it's a right performance trying to turn around at the bottom. I mean, there is no right and wrong way around the industrial estate at all because all these little lorries they all come in the way that we've just come in it's just that most of the arctics will go in the other way because they're left hand drive and the place is on the left so it's easier for them to get on a bay whereas with me it's easier to go in this way and round the block So this here on the right hand side is actually where we're going but we need to be on the other side because this is the oranges and the fruit going in but we want the outside which is the opposite side of the building.
so where we're going is just round here as you can see all I've done is come round in a in a circle e square sort of thing round the block and where we want to go is just it, it's actually where that one's reversing I want to go there so he's come down and reverse because he's left hand drive and I need to go up and reverse on the other side but they are nightmare bays So my stuff's not ready, so I've just been sitting here. Now these two have come down. Now you can see how tight this is. This guy is left hand drive, come down, and he's struggling to get on the bay. I've moved backwards out of his way, try and give him a bit more space, but still, it's, it's not easy whether you're right or left hand drive this bay. Now the guy in the other lorry is actually showing him back, so there is two of them and he's still fiddling, he's still tr struggling to get on the bay, it's just, it's just one of them bays, it, it, for some reason it's just difficult to get on. Oh, I think he's got it now. There we go. I think he's nearly there. Just needs to um, straighten the unit up a bit. But it's not easy. And I mean, I'm not calling the, the driver at all. I'm not slagging him whatsoever. It's just, for some reason, they're just not easy bays to get on. See, that's the guy in the other lorry that's just helping him back. And he's not fully loaded or anything, so he's just, um, he's doing all right. But it's, And I will do exactly the same. I will end up fiddling like that to try and get on this bay. There we are, he's got it. Result. Well done, you. Now, I bet this guy wants to get on the bay that I'm now parked opposite. So I'll, um, I'll let him through, move up a bit and let him in. Well, that guy's still fiddling around. Perhaps it's just not quite straight.
I'll just, uh, I just need to, let's let him through. I just need to, um, there's a bay by the side of me that these two, the one that came before, need to get onto. So I just need to pull forward a bit, let them in, and then I can park back up again. Yep, it took me a million shunts to get on the bay. Yeah, it was a bit of a faff getting on the bay, but what I did is wait for both bays to be clear and took a wide swing and then come on. And you're still backwards and forwards in, but we got there. So this guy is bringing everything out and putting it in order. That's where they're in there, never mind because they're on your pallets, but they pack them in there and then they put them in the chiller. Because I'm delivering to markets, I may have, which is kind of generally, have more than one drop around the market, so it needs to be put in order, otherwise you're faffing about completely in the middle of the night. So one customer's order might be different products so like these are mandarins and then they also may have lemons or they may have oranges or whichever so one customers all needs to be together so it doesn't matter if you drive around the market three times as long as when you get to the one one delivery all his stuff is together This young man's doing all right actually he's uh, we haven't been hanging about at all once the stuff is ready and he's he's sorted it all so i shouldn't have any problems when i get to the other end it's all going to london markets um so anybody up there that eats oranges mandarins and lemons this is where it comes from and the final panic just what we always look for. Bars up, nice tidy load. Hello, welcome to final check, early morning. I'm about an hour from the port. So I checked it this morning before I left where I was parked. Obviously it was dark, I've done my best, but oh, like I did before, in previous videos I'll check it here. Now recently the people smugglers have started cutting holes into the top of the fridges with um, handheld power tools and because we've got fridges running we don't hear them when we're sleeping and they just wait till the fridge starts kicking in and use a power tool. They cut a big hole in the roof and drop the illegal immigrants down. Now, the UK government have recently increased the fine for drivers to £10,000 per illegal immigrant that we bring into the country. How we're supposed to check everything is unbelievable. We do our best. We've got seals on. So now, what I'm going to do on my final check, instead of just checking the, the side lockers and underneath and everything that I normally do, I'm going to replace take the seal off, try and check inside. I have ordered one of them foldy ladders. I've had one before, but I lost it um, when I had a vehicle go on fire. So that hasn't come yet, but I'm gonna do my best to climb up and have a look. The idea is to put my phone on 
the, the selfie stick like now but point it the other way so that I can see in and then check as best I can and then um, replace the seal and uh, see how we go. These are some stills from a Spanish driver that uploaded and you can see what happens. Full load of lettuce, absolutely ruined. And what they've done is just cut a hole in the roof. Not only is the lettuce ruined, the trailer's ruined and that's how they get in without us noticing. precarious climbing these steps trying to hold the <laughs> trying to hold the selfie stick and everything but um it's the only way i could think of doing it at the moment see the problem is is that some of these pallets are taller than others so i'll try and so they could be hiding behind that one pallet look but i've switched the lights on the side lights on so it lights up all in the fridge and i can see but if they're over the front i can't see and all i can do is look at the roof so hopefully um, I can see there's no hole in the roof so I can only do my best and that's all we can do but whether the best is good enough for stopping us getting fined is another matter so I'll keep this video until I'm in and I'm sure that there's no problems I'll climb back down and uh, reseal it put the padlock back and everything See, this is why we use these seals because when you do break them you can't glue them back together whereas with the plastic seals all they do is cut them with a really sharp knife and then glue them together and um, unless you're sharp-eyed you just look at it and think oh the seal's still there but with these well they can do that even with the metal ones they cut them really and they fiddle with them until they just manage to loosen them but with these, they don't, they just completely fray and you can't glue them back together. So I didn't film the delivery. It's, the market is really, really busy. So you have to kind of keep an eye, but as you can see, everything's done. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I shall catch up with you soon. Please subscribe if you haven't. 
thumbs up, ring the little bell. See you next time.